All right, so we're talking about solving today. So let's start with the definition of solve. So solve means to find the value of the variable that makes a statement true. So within the context of mathematics, solve means this every time. Uh, in other places, it means like to find the answer of a problem to, to a problem, but here it means exactly this. We're looking for a value of a variable. All right. Also, uh, a necessary fact for solving is to realize that this, this is a, represents a true statement. 5 equals 5 is a true statement, and 7 equals 5 is a false statement. So let's have a look at this. Uh, here's a true statement also. 2x is equal to 10. And if we're solving it, then what we're looking for is what is the value of this variable that makes this statement true? Well, what number, 2 times some number is equal to 10, what can the number be? The number must be 5. Okay, we have the solution to the, to the statement. That's the value of the variable that makes the statement true. Put the solution out of your mind for a second, and now let's focus on a method. Uh, we can use a method using the properties of equality, which basically say there are four, properties of, four basic properties of equality, which say if you, add, if you want to add, subtract, multiply, or divide something to this equation, you must do it to both sides so that it stays true. So for example, if you take this true statement 5 equals 5 and you want to add 2 here, then you must add 2 here also so that the statement remains true. If you don't add 2 to both sides, then the statement will become false. So here's a true statement. How we can use it, we can use the division property of equality to divide, divide both sides by 2. And how this works is that now we have 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 1. And 1x is equal to x. This is how we isolate the variable that we want. And we can have x is equal to 5 using division property of equality. Second example, here we have a number minus 2 that is equal to 7. The number must be 9. Okay, so we, we have the solution to it. How can we use a property of equality? We can use addition in this case. So if we add 2 here, then negative 2 and positive 2 make 0. And this is how we isolate x on the left-hand side. And the properties of equality say if we're adding 2 to the left-hand side, we must add 2 to the right-hand side as well. Okay, and we're in. x is equal to 9. Verifying the solution that we had, that we're working for. Okay, example 3. A number plus 2 is equal to 5. This number must be 3. How we can use the properties of equality is by using subtraction. We can subtract 2 from both sides of this equation. And why it works is because positive 2 minus 2 makes 0. So this is how the 2 disappears from the left-hand side of this equation. And what we obtain is x is equal to 3, like we expected. OK, the last example, the one that, uh, this is the one that uh, students most commonly miss. Um, some number divided by 2 is equal to 5. The number must be 10. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Okay, we have the solution. How about a method? We can use multiplication property of equality, multiplying both sides of this equation by 2. And the reason why it works is because now we have 2 in the numerator, 2 in the denominator. This is a number divided by itself that makes 1. And now we have 1x, which is what we want. x is equal to 10. That's it.